Hello everyone and welcome back to Speak Bucket. Uh, today we are again with Jean Paul and we have the pleasure of having Susan with us today again. Hello Susan, how Hi, are you? Hi, hello, fine. Oh, fantastic. Eh? She's so subtle, such elegance compared to... Okay? Right. So, today what we're going to taste is another wine from the south of France, one of our good wines from the region. Not expensive, it's not going to drill a hole in your pocket. So today we're going to talk about le casu. Now le casu, I'll give you a short translation of casu. C'est une petite maisonnette. Une petite maison d'habitation en pierre. It's a small in house, a, a small little stone house uh, where people used to live before in the Middle Ages or where Jean-Paul is still squatting for the moment. It's Le Cazou, and the wine itself is Le Domaine, excuse me, I'll put my binoculars on, Domaine de la Vieille, which, is, which literally, literally means Domain of the old, the old girl. Now, what's important to know about this wine, it's that it's a wine that is grown in the Pic saint Lou region, but it's not recognized as a Pic saint Lou. The reason is very simple. To be, uh, to be in accordance with the appellation of Pic saint Lou, it has to have a certain variety in the vine. And those varieties have to be Syrah, Grenache, Mourvedre, now I can say it, <laughs> Salso, and Carignan. These are the basic vines that need to be uh, in the wine to have the appellation Pic saint Lou. This wine is made in the Pic saint Lou region, but it's classified as a vin de pays, a country wine. Why? Because it's using three other, uh, three other uh, variety of vines, which is, uh, if I can see it again here, 50% Cabernet Sauvignon, 25% of Merlot, and another 25% of Carignan. So, we're going to try it now. Before, beforehand, we're going to uh, decanter the wine, but Jean-Paul would like to show you what the difference is between decanting and carafing. Young wine, carafing. All wine, decanting. Okay, ah. there's a specific reason why young wine, carafing, why? Parce que le vin a besoin de plus d'oxydation. The wine donc, needs a little more oxidation. Donc il faut le violenter dans la carafe. You have to violate it. You have, you have to be <laughs> violated. On. No, you have to be violent with the wine. Quand il s'agit d'un vieux vin, when it's an old wine, on verse délicatement. We, we, we pour very delicately. Pour ne pas le fatiguer. To not to, to tire the wine. Quand il s'agit d'un vieux vin, d'un jeune vin, pardon, comme celui-ci. When it's a young wine, puisque c'est un 2008, because it's a 2008 vintage, il faut le carafer violemment et ne pas hésiter. Because it's wine, you could be a little more violent with it. How's your nose, uh, Susan? Mm, it's good. A little bit of leather. Yes. Un peu de cuir. Alors là on est sur des notes, une note poivrée, ça c'est... Peppery, a very peppery note. C'est dû un peu au fait qu'il soit jeune. Because it's, it's, a, it's relatively young. On retrouve évidemment les notes de garrigue de chez nous. Parce que tout, toutes les essences qui, euh, qui, que, qui vont se multiplier avec le thym, la lavande... How would you... How yeah, would you pronounce it's garrigue? Garrigue, we call it the garrigue. It's where we've, we've got thyme and rosemary and lavender and uh, other evergreen plants. It's dry and dusty and uh, there's those notes there too. Shall we try it? Cheers to you. Here's your Susan. Have you ever found that sound funny with Jean-Paul? Yes, often. <laughs> no, 
know he's tasting it. Please do not take Jean-Paul out to a restaurant with you, <laughs> because once he starts tasting the wine, the whole dining room will be looking at you. They say, what's this guy doing with all this noise? Well, Cheers to not? you. Oh, no, really. I took, I took him out once. The tannins are very, very present still in this wine. You can feel it in your mouth. It's a very dry feel. What would you it's say? Stringent to? almost. Yes, stringent. Really. Almost, yeah. Donc, si on veut le déguster maintenant, if you want to taste it now, euh, ce sera sur une charcuterie assez relevée en goût. With cold cuts, ham, uh, boiled ham or uh, sausage and with cold cuts, uh, very present in taste. Ou avec une, une viande uh, en sauce uh, assez, assez ah, poivre. That's very interesting. Eh? Or else in a, a, a cooked meat or a grilled meat but a very uh, very strong sauce, very rich sauce, it, it would pass very... Uh, In other words, something with a lot of taste, you know, it, it would go well with something with a lot of taste. Rich and bold. Yeah, right. exactly. Right. Et donc, pour ceux qui veulent le boire maintenant, for those who want to drink it now, il faut le mettre beaucoup plus tôt en carafe. You have to decanter it much, much earlier. Le, uh, how long would you say, Jean-Paul? Le matin pour le soir. Ah, here we go. From the morning, to have to drink it in the evening. That's at least eight hours. So, just to have a, a, a last look at this bottle. Le Cazou, which is a little stone house, as I said, in Domaine de la Vieille. And it's uh, produced by Guy uh, Ratier. How much would this cost in a retail price? Eight euros. It's not gonna put a hole in your pocket, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so, here we go. Cheers to you. Cheers. Thank you again for being with us here on Spit Bucket. If you have a comment, don't hesitate. Leave us a little word. And uh, until next time, thank you, Susan, for being with us. Pleasure. It's always a pleasure being with a femme. La femme. L'homme. Okay, so until next time, everyone. Have a good one. Cheers. And uh, cheers. cheers. And bye-bye. Bye-bye.